As he prepares for a battle against the dark forces in modern day with that world, so he came to us with this concept and screenplay, and we got very excited about it and helped him put it together. Lisa Palmer, who, uh, as you could see, even if you were a total stud, you'd be nervous about a first date with Teresa, um, and it screws up his whole date with her uh, and, and, and ruins things. And it's again how the magic has gotten ahead of him, and he's not quite ready to use it. Um, that's a really long answer to a very <laughs> short question. Exactly right. <laughs> Very I, uh, good. I have to search for hundreds and hundreds of years to find the prime Merlinian, the one who can inherit the power of the greatest sorcerer who ever lived, is Merlin himself. And that's pretty <laughs> exciting stuff and very frustrating because it doesn't really happen until present day in New York City that I discover him in this little uh, antique store. Uh, and I think you'll see some of that later. Yeah. I, I come from Adelaide, South Australia, um, and it's a very small place. And uh, you know, to be in a, in a film opposite Nicolas Cage and Jay Baruchel, and to be working with Jerry Bruckheimer, I mean, it's a dream. It's it's so incredibly cool and. <laughs> I know who won't be in National Treasure 3. <laughs> what, was, uh, what were your priorities with your character? What did you want to make sure he was and what he wasn't? I mean, yeah, um, I just, uh, you know, he's got quite an arc to go on. You know, at the beginning he's kind of, I don't know, sort of awkward and fish out of water and, you know, is at odds with the information he's just been given, which is that he's the prime Merlinian and the world will end without him. Uh, so there's a bit of a learning curve there, but, uh, you know, then he kind of saves the day and gets into some real Akira ghost in the shell type stuff at the end of the movie. She's an NYU student, she's a DJ, and um, I think she... uh, On a huge set with a lot of green people and having him act with pretending mops, um, and a lot of great animators and effects people who really know how to guide that process and bring them to life and make the make it look real. Outstanding. All right. Do we have some questions? Yes. Really expensive. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> really expensive. Uh, my question is for Nick and Jay. Uh, could you guys talk a little bit about the character dynamic between uh, the two of you, the rapport or not that develops, and. Uh, and I guess also the rhythm you guys developed as actors together. Well, it was very easy working with Jay, you know, because we have similar interests. We both are interested in history and mythology and both have pretty much so That's the kind of relationship we have. I, I think our, our, it's kind of like, uh, it's, it's, I find our relationship is kind of uh, um, uh, midnight run-ish. And at different times <laughs> in the movie, we are both De Niro and Broden. Yeah, or, or Dean Martin and Jerry Lewis. Yeah, right. <laughs> Outstanding. <laughs> nice to meet you. Yep. But loved you even when you were I loved you when you were hosting popular mechanics for kids. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I remember that. Love you, Claire. And I just want to know what is it like you going from being the lead in a Fox sitcom to being the lead in a big fantasy adventure? Yeah, uh, it doesn't suck at all, man. <laughs> 
I, uh, I just wondered what took so long. No, uh, um, no, it's, it's, <laughs> it's, uh, no, it's, 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 it's really, really cool, man. I get to, I get to, you know, it's, it's like when you do stuff like that, it's, it's, you, you grow up play acting, right? Doing cops and robbers or army guys or whatever, and and, and you know, I'm, I grew up watching cartoons, love them from Asia, and so to get the chance to like shoot energy out of my hands and stuff and do all the Ayugan moments, like it, it, it's, it's pretty huge, man. Yeah, no, it's um, and it's very impressive, also with the the, uh, the actors. But I, one thing that I would like to ask. Um, Nicholas, can you sign? Jay, can you sign? I'd be really impressed if you can. Can you? Oi. Uh, I'm teasing. I'm teasing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not teasing. Because I don't know. I'm teasing you. So, something dirty would have been the extent of my knowledge. <laughs> I would agree with you, too. Same old, same old. But, so, there was so, a sign John, I want to do, so like, you. I'm a little nervous. It's okay. Um, <laughs> I'm your biggest fan, and <laughs> Thank you. you're one of them. And you've had a very big, great career. Thanks. And I've always wondered, out of all the movies you've done, like Leaving Las Vegas, Adaptation, Face Off, The Rock. The Rock. children, you know, <laughs> I would hate to pick one out and make the other ones jealous. <laughs> you can't pick favorites, you know. I like them all for different reasons, I really do. You know, I'm about ready to go to my Helen Wolf impression, you know. <laughs> it's like I asked this lady to bring me water and she brought me gasoline. <laughs> no, I like them all, really. Yeah. What's your favorite? Well, nice. Yeah. Arizona. So I was 17 years old when I made Valley Girl. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for answering my question. 